those two prairie dogs right there are going to get shot using the Mead 223 ammunition that I'm covering in this four minute ammo review. Warning, this video contains images of legal hunting activities. If you are offended by these types of images, please leave now. Four minutes is not a long time to cover this, but this is a Meat Industries 223 Remington doggone ammunition, and it is the 40 grain soft point that they have. It comes in 200 round packs. That's what I got, and this is the ammunition you can see here. We've started the four minute timer, so I'm going to have to jump right into it. Here's 100 yard results, two of the best groups I've ever shot with 223 ammo out of this stag arms. It's very accurate. Uh, 24 inch barrel, we're seeing 3175 feet per second, 24.7 standard deviation. There's the extreme spread, and here's the hunt portion. Okay, so this was about, I don't know, 70, well, 80 yards, 90 yards. I'm using the stag arms 223, and basically the mead ammunition loaded with their 40 grain mead soft point bullet and spotted this guy I'm gonna get down and get him there's already a spider on him oh he's hefty that is a big one so can you guess where I shot it? Headshot, he was looking at me, so I just basically put it on his face, so. What can I say? Interesting. No, it's just Creedmoor brass. I was gonna say. But you know. Okay, so I was hitting low, because I, I nicked him. These also may not be blown up at that distance. So I'm going for this guy. Got him. Yep. Dinged him right in the head. Well done. Stag Arms 223 Remington. Yep, the Stag Varmeter. The Varminer. Is that recording? Yeah. So, I'm shooting the Mead 40 grain doggone bullets. This is their loaded ammo, and this right here is meant for prairie dog hunting. Here with our stag arms. So I have two stag arms. I have the stag 15 in 224 Valkyrie, but on these two prairie dogs, I was using the stag Varminer in 223, and the Mead prairie dog be gone ammo. They're shooting their 40 grain soft point bullet. And these were at, one was at 276. Cause this one punched him, knocked him down dead. This one right here, I ranged it. It's difficult to range sometimes out here in the prairie. Anyways, I ranged it, um, clipped him once and then took him out. And that one was a little bit closer to like 267. So the setup is, like I said, the stag arms, got the A2 stock, um, regular Magpul magazine, it's got the whole grip. This is the way it comes from the factory. And then I'm using my Vortex Viper, six and a half to 20 by 50. I was down at like 20, 18, cause I didn't want a lot of shake. Cause when you're shooting off of posts and stuff like that, it's difficult on, on uh, staying steady when you're all the way up high on power. And I rarely do that anyway, so. Again, not a lot of time to cover things. Just wanted you guys to hear it out in the field what the results were. Here's some close-ups of those two prairie dogs that I shot. This ammunition did very well in my stag arms. I have not shot it out of my bolt action yet. I will be doing that. And, you know, even though the speed isn't way up there, it's very accurate and it does the job, performs well. There's another uh, prairie dog I couldn't even show on YouTube. So head over to varmeter.com and here's the ending information. Thanks for watching. So many of you don't know that we actually have a website and we have articles, videos, hunts, reviews, range reports, thermal optic info, and a lot more. A lot of these link up to the videos that we have on here so you can go back and refer to them as far as finding out information that you saw in the video but if it went by too fast, you can click over on varmature.com 
and check out the article and all the information is there. So we'll see you over at barometer.com. Thanks a lot for watching.